next tonight. It's bad enough, surely, that Damanola Taylor's father has been told that one of his son's killers has been sent back to prison for breaking the conditions of his licence. Worse, that he only heard through the media. And worse still, perhaps, it is the second time in 18 months that Ricky Preddy has been recalled to prison. Richard Taylor is now planning to write to the Prime Minister calling for a public inquiry into what happened. Marcus Powell reports. Child killer Ricky Preddy, jailed not once, not twice, but three times, is back behind bars again tonight for the killing of Damalola Taylor. He's been returned to Pentonville Prison just 16 days after his last release for once again meeting with gang members and returning to Old Horts in Peckham in breach of his parole. Ricky and his brother Danny were jailed for eight years in 2006 for the manslaughter of Damalola Taylor. The schoolboy was last seen alive outside Peckham Library before being confronted by the Predis just minutes later in November 2000. Damalola was stabbed in the leg with a broken bottle and died in a stairwell as he tried to run home. The brothers were part of a gang known as the Peckham Boys, but it took years to bring them to justice. Ricky was first released from his sentence in September 2010, but recalled just six months later for returning to old haunts and old associates. Now it's happened again. The parole board decided to let him out again after a 10-month recall on the grounds that he'd been of good behaviour and also he hadn't committed a criminal offence whilst out. What he'd done, he's broken trust, he'd broken the rules. So it comes as a surprise that he's done exactly the same again. His sentence expires in May 2013, so there's every chance he'll serve every day of his sentence now. Damalola's father, Richard, said last month that his son's killers should have been hanged. Today, he said, Ricky Preddy's second recall to prison was the final straw. In a statement, he said the Taylor family have always maintained that reform of the boys should have been essential before their release. They knew nothing but the life of the street, so would have little chance of creating new lives for themselves unless this was the case. The only way lessons can be learned, they added, is if the people running the system are held accountable for this failure. Ricky Preddy is now likely to serve out the 15 months remaining of his sentence, but Damalola's family want a public inquiry, as neither brother has ever shown any remorse. Marcus Powell, London Tonight. Still to come on tonight's programme, a new punishment for people...